All right, continuing with our series on solving equations, we're going to solve some equations when we have variables on both sides of the equal sign and when there's distributive property. So if you have been following along with any of the videos, I'm trying to change this around so I can pick the right pen that I want, but for some reason it's acting really weird on me. Um, the first step, of course, is draw the line. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Draw that line down the equal sign so you know you're separating the problem into two sections. If something needs to be done, an operation needs to be done on the same side of the line, then you do whatever it says. If you have to go from one side of the line to the other or eliminate something, then you're dealing with a situation in which you must do opposite operations. The second step is baby goes bathroom. I'm going to just call it the BGB here. Baby goes bathroom is distributive property. You always do it first, even if there was something in front of this uh, negative 3 over here, like if it said 4 minus negative 3, you would not do 4 minus 3 first. You would go ahead and bring that 4 down, and then you would do the distributive property. So we're going to do baby goes bathroom here really quickly. And I need to uh, mark out this or erase that because I was just trying to make a point. But anyway, so we do distributive property. I do negative 3 times 2n gives me negative 6n. And then I do negative 3 times negative 3, and I get plus 9. The line drawing thing just reminds me to multiply. It's pointless if you go ahead and draw the lines out before you do the multiplies. Draw the first line, write negative 6n down. Draw the second line, write negative 3 times negative 3 down. Then you can solve it. It's just a silly thing to do otherwise. It's like a tradition or something. So now I've gotten to the point where baby goes bathroom is done. Then I'm going to look for my clean your room. Uh, clean my room is where I combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign, blah, blah, blah. There aren't any. 6n plus 9. 6n and 9 are not like terms. On the other side, the 25 and the negative 8n are not like terms either. I have one with a variable and one with not on both sides, so we're not going to combine any terms on the same side. Then we're going to do pork chops and applesauce. We talked about that in the last video. It's where I'm going to bring over... One, I'm actually going to eliminate one of the uh, variable terms on one side, and then you have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So let's get rid of that minus 8n. In order to get rid of minus 8n, I'm going to add 8n. If I do it over on the right side, I need to do it on the left side as well. On the right side, I can mark those two out, bring down anything that I didn't use. On the left side, I do negative 6 plus 8, which gives me 2n, and bring down plus 9. Then I'm at uh, the fifth step, which is parties over. This is where I'm at the stage I am now, where I have a integer or number term on one side. And on the other side, I have an integer term, number, and a variable term. I've got that 2n there. Uh, so I need to get rid of the thing that's on the same side as the n or the variable and furthest away from it, which would be plus 9. It's separated by the plus. In order to get rid of plus 9, I need to subtract. Uh, 25 minus 9 is 16. I've got two in there. And now I'm at the finish it stage, which is the last stage. Usually the finish it stage uh, focuses on a single um, final step. It's usually the opposite operation scenario. I've got two times in. In order to eliminate two times, I need to divide by two. And 16 divided by two is just eight. So the answer to this question is eight. That's kind of the system. Let's look at a few more, see if we can get you know a bit of a different answer. By the way, you can check to see if these are right on there. There it is. See, that was right. I'm not just making it up. Uh, the next one is here. Uh, negative 3b minus 30 is equal to negative 6 uh, times the quantity 2b minus 1. Follow all the steps. Draw your line. Baby goes bathroom. That's a multiply. Once again, negative 6 times negative 1 gives me plus 6. Make sure just treat these as the negative signs, and then if it's negative times negative, you get positive. Don't just bring that minus down. It's confusing. I hate multiple signs in a row, like plus negative. I hate that stuff. Uh, bring all that down. Now I'm at pork chops and applesauce because there's no clean your room. I'm going to eliminate negative 12b here by adding b to both sides. These cancel. 6 comes down. I, got, I end up with negative 3 plus 12, which gives me 9b minus 30. Now I'm at parties over, so I'm going to add 30 to both sides to get rid of it on that left side. 9b comes down. On the opposite side, 
Uh, 30 plus 6 is 36. Now I'm left with 9 times b equals 36. I'm going to get rid of times by dividing. And my final answer will be b equals 36 divided by 9, which is just 4. That's the answer to that one. Pretty simple. Let's do um, one more like this, and then maybe one more of a different type, just so you can get a little system going. It's nice to get a little momentum. This one's a little bit more complicated as well. So first steps, draw your line. Then you do baby goes bathroom. See, it's tempting to try to combine that 4V with that plus 2 there. Don't fall for that. Do the distributive property first. Bring all this down. This one has a clean your room on the left side because I've got two variable terms. When it's on the same side of the line, do what it says. 4 minus 16. Don't look at the plus that's right here. Only look at what's in front of the numbers. 4 minus 16 is negative 12. V plus 16. Now I've got pork chops and applesauce because I've already cleaned my room on both or on that left side and the right side's already nice and clean. So I'm going to get rid of this minus 12V just to show you that you can do it on either side you want. Plus I just like positive numbers with my variables, but that's just me. Bring down your 16. I've got 40 here. Uh, 12 minus 4 is negative, or sorry, positive 8V because it's negative 4 plus 12. I might have said that wrong. I apologize if I did. And that's the worst looking 12 ever. But no time for my obsessions. Let's just continue with the problem. Now I'm at parties over. This is a 4T, not a 46. So I need to subtract 4T from both sides. And I do 16 minus 40, and I get negative 24. Bring down my 8V. Uh, now I'm left with the, the final step, the finish it step. To get rid of 8 times V, I need to divide. So my final answer is uh, negative 24 divided by 8, or V, equals negative 3. I want to see if that one's right. I can check it to make sure. There it is. You can barely see it, but negative 3 is the correct answer. Yay for me. All right, so let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated. And if you've got the system down, this one should be simple, and this is the only one I'm going to do that's like this. This one has just a lot of um, distributive property in it. Actually, there's two more, so this one and one more. But in order to, follow, in order to solve it, you just do the exact same thing you've been doing. Don't go off the path very much. Draw the line. Do any uh, distributive property, so baby goes bathroom. Bring down that 4n, because you can't use it yet. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 in. Now I can combine like terms or clean your room. I've got some n terms here. 4 minus 12 is negative 8n plus 2. On the other side it's negative 12n plus 10. This looks a lot like the other problem. From here I need to get all the n's together. This is pork chops and applesauce. So I'm going to eliminate minus 8n on the right side by adding 8n. Same thing over here. And once again, make sure that you do the ends uh, with the ends. It's kind of like apples and oranges. You can add as many oranges to a pile of apples as you want, but you're not going to increase the number of apples. Uh, this becomes negative 4n plus 10. Bring down 2. Uh, party's over. My friend is the one next to me, so the negative 4. The 10 is the friend of friends. So I'm going to get rid of it by subtracting 10 on both sides. I end up with negative 4n. Uh, and 2 minus 10 is negative 8. This is the finish it step, so this is a multiply. So in order to get rid of multiply, I need to divide by negative 4. And if I do negative 8 divided by negative 4, n is equal to 2. Just like that. That's all you need to do to solve them. I think I have one more that I could do, but let's see if it's worth our time. It's kind of longish pretty much looks like the other one, doesn't it? Let's do it real quick, just so I can make a point about something. We'll do this one really uh, as fast as I can and explaining it at the same time. Draw the line. Baby goes bathroom. Bring the 8x down because it's not baby goes bathroom. Then negative 2 times 1. Negative 2 times negative 6 gives you positive 12x. This is negative. This is negative. Just make the positive. Um, so I combine like terms on the same side. We're going to clean our room here. I do negative 8 plus 12 because they're on the same side. And I get 
for x. I'm combining these two based on their signs of negative and a positive. Bring this down. Uh, pork chops and applesauce, I'm going to get rid of 4x here and here. 6x plus 16. Bring down minus 2. Uh, this is parties over, so I'm going to subtract 16. 6x is equal to negative 18. Divide by 6 here because I'm getting rid of times 6 because they're touching. If hamsters touch, they multiply. So same with numbers and variables. And so my final answer is x is equal to negative 3. So if you just follow the steps, no matter how big they are, as long as there's only one variable, you should be absolutely fine with these problems.